as we take a look at uh, Michigan and Villanova in this one. Nova opened up as a five-point favorite, uh, 135 and a half. And, uh, boy, Michigan and Villanova, a lot like watching paint dry here, Merrill. Uh, neither team likes to uh, do anything quickly. Michigan's uh, not exactly one of the best defenses, but we know Villanova is, so who do you give the edge to? Well, first of all, you know, teams that barely make the tournament, I've said this for decades now, and we talk about how the first four play-in winners always make a run. And by the way, I know neither Indiana nor Notre Dame made the Sweet 16 this year, but keep in mind, Notre Dame did go 2-0 and against the spread those last two rounds, um, so they still were a profitable bet. Um, but this year's team could very well be Michigan. I mean, this is a team, as we've talked about here on the show, Dave mentioned it a few weeks ago, this was a top-four-ranked program when the season began. I mean, so they were basically a one seed back in November. Now they're an 11 seed, which a lot of people thought was a bubble team. They weren't even a first four play-in team. And as much slack as the committee catches over the years, and I'm not a big fan of the NCAA, I think they're about as hypocrit hypocritical as anybody on earth. I do think the committee, for the most part, does a pretty good job selecting teams. And these teams that get in kind of on the fringe usually make runs. And this year, it looks like maybe that's Michigan, as they obviously have the talent to do so. This is a team that had zigzagged win and losses for the past month and a half. In fact, until that Tennessee winning cover as an underdog on Saturday, they were 0-5 straight up and ATS over the after their previous five wins. So we'll see if they can start stringing together some victories. I'm not so sure that's going to happen in this one. I think Villanova wins this game and advances. Uh, Villanova playing excellent basketball, seven straight wins, uh, four and three against the spread the last seven. Um, but I think Michigan's recent wins has uh, lowered this line a little bit. And Villanova, as you said, very slow team. In fact, they're one of the 10, 15 slowest teams in the country. Michigan is also below average pace. But as we've talked about recently, Michigan is better playing up tempo. And one of the reasons they've started to play better basketball is they've played above their seasonal pace rating. In fact, when Martelli took over for those last five regular season games, every one of those games without Jawan Howard, they played faster. Uh, they won three of the five. And now they've won their last two in the tournament playing above their seasonal pace rating. So I think this is going to actually reverse everything that's been working for him, and I favor Villanova for the matchup and the slowdown style. Uh, Hunter Dickinson is an absolute beast here, Dave, for Michigan these last couple of games. They have the size advantage. Do you give them the advantage in that game because of it? No. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back here because by no means am I capable of coaching basketball. But one thing, that those who've watched this program all season long, Know that I kept on saying, I think Michigan's playing the wrong style. I said it over and over again. This team is athletic. They should be going at a much faster pace. And guess what? They've played their best basketball since they've upped their tempo. Nevertheless, I think Villanova will be able to command the tempo in this game. And that means it's going to be a slower paced game. I think Villanova's going to win. But I can't recommend the Wildcats at this number. I think it's a little bit high. I made the number two and a half. Michigan's really comfortable, uh, or confident right now, I should say. And I think they're going to give Villanova a real good battle. Uh, it's not a game I want to bet on. I think there's a couple of other options that are better for me. But I will side with uh, Michigan to cover the spread in this game, but not to win. And I, I, to me, that's not a good bet unless you're getting a really big number. If you're back in the underdog, you've got to think they're going to win the game. Uh, this one does look like it goes to the wire, though. So I'll uh, call it a guess on Michigan plus the points. All right. Uh, guess with Michigan and the points. couple of big uh, second-half comebacks for Michigan to get to this spot here. Uh, Ralph, and let's face it, they're playing some of the best basketball we've seen. Devontae Jones healthy again. So what, do you, uh, what chances you give Michigan to get it done against? No. Well, that's the funny thing, Joe. Devontae Jones missed the Colorado State game and only played 12 minutes against Tennessee, yet Michigan went up tempo without their point guard. So, you know, obviously Jones should be more healthy putting in 12 minutes in the last game, but I don't like his matchup against Gillespie. This obviously a rematch of the 2018 National Championship. Colin Gillespie is actually the only player on Villanova <laughs> that played in that team as a freshman. So, you know, he's facing him in a big role again. You know, I, I just, 
I love Jay Wright, and when his Villanova teams are playing well, they're just so smart. They're the best free throw shooting team country. 82.6% on the season as a team. Incredible numbers. Mm. They don't turn the ball over on offense. They do a decent job on defense. They're not as good of a defensive team as they've been you know, in a couple of their past national championship years. But, you know, I think Michigan had a good matchup against Colorado State. Again, got, got through it with Tennessee. I think they're going to struggle. Um, while I don't want to lay the five, I do like the under in this game. Michigan played faster against Colorado State and Tennessee. I think Villanova will slow them down. Villanova, when they have the ball, one of the slowest teams, number 348 on offense. They do slow the paces coming up. So under for me in this matchup. And again, I, I just can't bet against Villanova in this role. I will say this. While Michigan probably would have been the favorite at the beginning of the year if these two played, when you looked after Michigan lost to Indiana in the Big Ten Conference Tournament and Villanova beat Creighton to win the Big East Tournament, this line probably would have been seven and a half or eight. So past results with Michigan winning has made this line a few points less. All right. Good. It should be a fun one here, guys. Uh, Michigan uh, seeing if they can continue. Rolling as an 11th seed, 